better not turn off again, you little shit. How's it going, everybody? This is Dunkle Dylan here, a.k.a. Dylan Bruden, and today we are doing one shot of What If Deku Was Bane Street Fighter AU. Now, we just start off with now. And like I said, you better not turn off again, or I'll swear I will send you to, to Las Vegas. Nobody wants to be in the home of sin. You know it. But I know you, you little fucker. Anyway, this is when we're going to start off now. So Izuku in this one has a pretty good childhood. Now, in this one, he pretty much, like I said, he's a street fighter. But uh, here's the thing. Thing. Izuku is not that fan of people. And when I mean not a big fan, I mean he's pretty much... Uh... Just, like, weird. He's just weird. Well, actually, no. He's pretty much just intimidating. He has paranoia. He doesn't trust his own family. Not his family. Let's get to that part. Izuku is related to Toga, Ochako, and Izumi. I'm pulling in a female Izuku on this one, pretty much. And pretty much, he is related to Inko, who is the number two hero. Oh, and All Might is the number one hero. Now, All Might, everyone treats him fair, but he just doesn't care about them. Um, he doesn't see them as family, nor does he see them as friends he just sees them as an annoyance he doesn't care about his family he doesn't care about anyone and he definitely doesn't care about bakugo who is izumi's girl who is izumi's boyfriend mind you so pretty much they just gave up on him like pretty much he forces them to neglect him mostly because he doesn't want to get attached to them um, for similar reasons one he's a street fighter like i said in the au izuku does fight for money pretty much but it pretty much is just random fights. He doesn't pick them. They pretty much he, they're pretty much random. He doesn't pick where he fights. He doesn't pick who he fights. They're just random. And he fights in a place known as the arena. Now, pretty much it is a fight to the death, at sometimes. But that's only in champion, in fighting champions. So pretty much Izuku, whose rock kill count is 400, mostly because it's always a want of free for all matches. It's, and it's always ended up with 100 people against one another. They're, and they're always dumb enough to go after Izuku first. So they call him the hunt, the 100 Man Slayer. They're, or the Man Killer because as he, he kills men and women. Or, in a more delightful term, the Human Butcher. Because he kills all. Even Quark people fight him and he still wins. And like, and by the way, Izuku is quirkless in this one, and he does have venom, but it's pretty much given to him by a person who was experimenting, meaning all for all. Now, overall was actually is not a bad guy in this one. He's neutral. He doesn't do experiments. That's his limit. He doesn't experiment on people. He just us. He just doesn't experiment on them. He doesn't do any of that. So when Izuku finally got uh, done with his road and with his stuff, when Izuku, who got done with one fight, made much doing 100 man, he was declared next time for the champion in match. Now Izuku has killed four champions, mind you. So Izuku's kill count is ripe for the taking. So pretty much when Izuku finally got done... On what is fighting, Izuku, the family always noticed they would come back. He would come back with bruises, his black eyes, and scars. And some of these scars are nasty. But not too nasty, I guess you could say. Not enough for them to notice, but Izuku does get scars. Like, a lot of them, actually. So... But they didn't notice because he always covers them with tattoos. Which they do notice, by the way. They do notice he covers them in tattoos. 
They just don't know that he has scars, is the best way of saying this. Like, they just don't know that. When Izuku actually takes off his shirt, though, that's when they notice, but he doesn't do that around them. Like I said, he just doesn't care about them. Definitely doesn't care what they think, either. So, pretty much, yeah, they just neglect him. Anywho. This is when Izuku just starts walking. <sighs> Mostly because he gets got done. And he walks back inside. Now, Izuka comes back pretty much this time with a serious wound, meaning a missing eye. Luckily, pretty much the fighting arena always has um, doctors, so they treated his wound. But this was the last straw. Oh, because they all notice he is coming back with more and more scars and tattoos. Pretty much with scars and tattoos. But the tattoos only cover like the left arm that had suffered through a third degree burn. So he had to wear long sleeves for a while until he got confident and started wearing a you know, top tank top again. Now, mind you, Izuku's normal look, quote unquote, oh, is look is pretty much a, a sweater and some and pretty much some pants. While his normal fighting clothes is pretty much. Uh, a tank top and some pants. And in case you're wondering what pants he wears when he's at home, he wears pajamas. But when he's he's at there, he's wearing pretty much jeans. Well, not jeans, I suppose, but he does wear clothing to cover up. He does wear air padding. I mean, he does wear pants. So when Izuku finally he gets there and gets done with his match, which he notices is a lot. But they don't even, even notice about the scars until he just got home. Because his shirt was ripped to shreds. Which just pisses him off. So he she finally confronts him. Tell me. Tell you what. Don't play stupid. I'm sick of this. Tell me where you're getting those scars. Why don't you make me? Izuku Hasashi, Ma Izuku Yagi Madoya. I am your mother. You are an asset. What? You heard me. Believe me. I'm sick of looking at your mug too. If it was up to me, I finally move out. But unfortunately, I can't. Because I'm 15. And you know, kicking out your only son who is quirkless will ruin your reputation. And you know it. But it will dampen your job, you both will lose it, and then I have to act like I give a shit about you and get you damn food. So you mind your business, and I'll mind mine. Got it? And he just walks off. All Might was like in the front of the door when he said that. He heard everything, in part of the asset thing. So pretty much now she just not on her knees and just starts crying. Bakugo was with them and he says, What the fuck? Your brother's a jerk. What did we do? Bakugo, maybe you could. Sorry, Izu. Sorry, sweetie, but I'm scared of your brother. Well, at least I asked. But maybe you can convince them? Like... Just try? I don't see anyone who could convince him to open up. I don't see anyone. I'm sorry, sweetie, but... I'm not trying to sound rude, but your brother's a monster. Why is he not took into a juvie or something? Because we need the money, and he's somehow bringing more money, and he's actually more, he's bringing in more money than all mom and dad are. So pretty much he's your piggy bank. 
Yeah, but he doesn't share it. The only time we ask him for money if we don't get paid or if our parents are at are at the hospital and he lectures us of being useless and we have to listen to that. Which enrages us. We're trained to be heroes. We can't get paid if we're students. Well, he doesn't see that. Maybe if we be nice to him, or we try, I'd be nice, it didn't work. So there is no point in really arguing with him. I mean, even if we do find a way to make him open up, he'll just give us a look. Like we just broke him. Or break the child right in front of him. So pretty much he's not going to open up anytime soon. I don't think he even will open up to anyone. I doubt it. You told me never to doubt. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, but Izuku's different. He is... Paranoid. What? He's paranoid. Is that what you're trying to say? Paranoia uh, sounds like a goofy term. Well, that could be it. He could be just paranoid. What could he be paranoid about? That's the thing. No one knows. People, Izuku, who rarely hangs out with you guys, right? Yeah, rarely. The only time he does hang out and let is either A, we, he wants something and he doesn't, he's not old enough to get it. That's the only time he bothers us. We're pretty much just assets. Have you ever tried forcing him to hang out with you? No, because we know he's going to say no. We'll just give him the stuff and he goes to, goes to his room and he doesn't come out. It's probably either a book or something. A book. That's the only time he bothers you too? A book? Yes, because either he has, they have to ask about his age because, you know, mother hens and all that. Yeah, understandable. But still. They can't just polite. He can't just politely ask them to give him the book? Not without them giving that look as if, who are your parents? Especially if it's like one of those really good books. Books that are worth, like, a lot of money. So, the answer to that question is, no, we can't. Okay. So, that's it, huh? Yep, that's it. We can't try anything else. Even if we did, he hates us. Me? What if we spied on him? We tried that, he threatened to break our legs next time. As turns out, he unpurposely led us to a decoy and threatened to break my neck. And he threatened to destroy like, their career by saying that they abuse him and pretty much rape him 24-7. That's a big threat. That's what we said. So we just gave up on looking. Pretty much, he just sees us. You heard him. Literally, with your own ears. We're assets to him. Nothing more. He just doesn't care about us. Never will he. But no matter how much he hates us, we still love him. 50 bucks say if he was here, he would say you're dumbasses. I bet he would. Which would give me a more reason to slap him. Him if he wouldn't, if he tried to, if he wouldn't, you know, threaten to break your bones. Yes. So, yeah. Alright. Anywho. Is that all? I say that's everything now. Huh. All right.
anyway. Now, Izuku has finally... Izuku was pretty much just sitting down on um, his own business. That's everything. Wait, why don't Toru spy on him? He'll sniff her out pretty easily. Yo, Chaco, you know that. Uh, yeah, true. Still, I can't believe he said that we were just assets. Respect. Now with Izuku, who is pretty much walking out of the door, or but he gets a text from his phone saying, "Can't fight for a week due to your wounds. Champion will be coming still, though." Oh. Who am I fighting? You're fighting a guy known as Killer Croc. He's pretty well known in Gotham. How much are you paying? Not that much to you. Pretty much like four thousand dollars. It will go right to your actually four thousand diamonds. It will go right to your bank account. Okay. All right. See you next. All right. See you next week. Big. See ya. And that's when Izuku just lays down, and pretty much just gets some sleep. But unfortunately, him it's spring break. So he has to deal with them for a week. But pretty much, Izuku just ignores them. Um, he doesn't even be a coward anymore. He mostly just wears his shirt. Or when they can see the tattoos and the scars. When they see this, the sisters are just shocked. And they just see him eating a ham sandwich. Which, which he bought. Uh, and chips that... That he bought as well. And he just starts walking away. Were those the scars you mentioned, did you two? Yes, those were the scars. Or, and the tattoos. That's a whole new breed of dinosaur right there. I've never seen that. That is completely new. Ooh to me. I never seen that. You sure? Positive. If... Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> let's go. Anything else? No, that's about it. All right. Well, see you around. Yeah, see ya. Are they sure they haven't met before? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, but yeah, that's what I noticed too. But still, those scars. I've never seen anything like that. At all. Yeah, I'm new to those too. I'm surprised Brother kept those from us. I'm not. What do you mean, Ochako? Think about it. it. 
he doesn't see us as family. He just sees us as an asset. So keeping something like that secret from us is no big surprise. I'm not even close to surprise, really. I mean, I knew he was keeping a secret from us, but I didn't expect his secret to be that. What about you? I'm just surprised that he kept this secret for so long. It must be hard on his chest. I don't think it is. Like you said, like he said, we're assets. I, well, it doesn't matter anymore. So, what now? Well, let's have a girls' night out. We have, I mean, we have spring break, so let's do it. All right. And that's what they do. They have a little girls' night out. So a week has finally passed, and the Zuku is finally like, done with his wounds. But in this one, I'm going to say Japan has like a two-week vacation, so that means Izuku is heading back to work. work. Mm. I know that look, sis. You want to follow him, do you? I do. I want to know why he's... I... I really, really want to. But... Ugh! My mind... It's telling... Me no, he'll break my bones. Bones. Uh, I don't want my bones broken. I got a date. What's more important, knowing what our brother does or your date? I'm gonna say date. Besides, my Katsi. I miss my Katsi. <laughs> Katsi, shut up. When you get a lover, sis, you'll know what love is. No, I'm staying. Ain't in the single train. What? Why? Not my cup of tea. I mean, plus I like being single. It's not my thing. I mean, sure, one day I'll find a lover, but not anytime soon. Ooh. Love to me is not a good thing. I mean, sure, it sounds nice finding a lover, but just. I don't want to take that big responsibility, you know? Yeah, I get what you're saying. But you're gonna have to find one one day. I will one day, but not today. Not any day, anyway. So I say we just leave him be. And that's when we get to Izuku. And when you just hear, I'm now! What have y'all been waiting for? The Killer of Gotham versus the Bane of Japan! Killer Croc versus the Service Bane! And this is when Izuku and Killer Croc comes out. Izuku, Croc, Killer Croc is just thinking, holy shit, this guy's tall. This is Killer Croc? I was expecting him to be a little bit taller. He's literally to my weight. He's This guy is literally small. Smaller for a man. I mean, he's around on all mine's height. Ugh, I, expect, I hope he puts up a fight. And pretty much that's what they do. They fight to the death. And they pretty much fight and fight and fight and fight. Wait, until they couldn't fight no more. But unfortunately for Killer Croc, he Killer Croc got killed by having his neck snap. And they're both tired. The winner, the Bane of Japan. <sighs> all right, champion of, all right, destroyer of Gotham champions, and Bien, please, you get to the table. You need. You need bad, you need healing. Like, bad dude. He gives the young, he gives the guy the middle finger. Alright, alright. 
Hey, you too, jerkwad. Good job. Thanks. All right, I'll roll my money. All right, here you go, kiddo. And, uh, stay. You're gonna have to stay home for an extra month. Really? Dude, Killer Croc got you good. Besides, you're my money maker. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, yeah. Spare me like you give a shit. Eh, there's no getting through to you that I do care about you. You just admit it on your money maker. That doesn't mean I don't care about you. Ugh, spare me the kindness. It's bad for you. You're kind. Yeah, all right, all right. Sheesh. Jeez. Learn to take a compliment for once, dude. Nope. Rather drown. Of course you, you would say that. Knowing you, you would say that, wouldn't you? What gave that away, I wonder? You just admitted it! Anyway... You now have to, you're, like I said, you don't fight anyone for a while until those wounds are cleared. Got it? Yeah, yeah, boss. Good. Now get home. Oh, immediately. Hey. Fine, fine. This one is who gets back home. But when he gets back home, he sees a rat and you and some and his parents along with his family. He doesn't even know he doesn't even care. Er, he's now covered in more bandages and pretty much uh, worse wounds. So obviously it's a miracle he so he walk. That's what just gives him a look like the hell? Not, we don't abuse him, we swear. Ask him. <sighs> Mind your own business, you stupid freak of a rat. There's no need for such language. Then mind your own business? Yes. And we won't have problems. Okay, fugly? Okay. Um... Uh, the fuck is wrong with him. He's always like that. He doesn't show respect to anyone. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, it's sad. And you beat in some manners into him. How? He's more trained than us. He literally can fight better than All Might. I, he even broke my arm that one time, All Bezu. That was him? Yeah. He broke my arm. Arm. Um, and threatened to cut my boobs off and shove it in my daughter's throat if I don't, if I ever talk, dare try to hurt him again. That's a threat. Are you sure this guy, this kid isn't a demon? That's what I'm thinking. Hey, but no, he ain't. He's just, he's just a jerk. A man with nothing to love. He just doesn't care anymore. I just wish he cares. But we don't get what we want. Those wounds look pretty serious. He won't let us take us take him to the hospital unless he wants to go to take him to the hospital. He's just stubborn. Now, now we got that problem. So, um, that all? Yeah, that's, that's all. Is, why are you even here, Nezu? You rarely come to our establishment. Well, I wanted to see if, uh, you're someone like to join UA. so funny. Oh, you're 
serious? Yes, I am. Did you actually thought I was joking? <sighs> he won't join. What makes you so certain? We asked. He said in three words that actually offended me. What did he say? There are no such thing as fake heroes. There's only heroes that are in it for the money. He doesn't care about them. And plus, he doesn't feel like babysitting spoiled brats. And he thinks that being a hero is for the weak. Because they have powers while they don't. But UA allows quirkless heroes as well. He doesn't care. He still thinks that you're weak. What if we prove that we're not? He still won't join. He still thinks that UA is a waste of his precious time. No matter what we do. And believe me, we tried to convince him to join UA, but it's not possible. Trust me. I know. I'm his mother. He won't join. Well, at least I asked. Yeah, you did. So you pretty much just waste your time, Mizu. He ain't joining. Well, that's a pity. Thank you for you telling me. No problem. Anyway, good day. See ya. This is when Izuku pretty much uh, sits down, but this is when pretty much they see someone else not walking in. Oh, hey, Zero. I think I'm saying his name right. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. I had to look up something. And this one, he, he pretty much says, ah, hello, Zero. Hey, guys. Um, whoa. Why do you all look like you just seen a ghost? Oh, um, nothing. It's just our brother. Your brother? Wait, you have a brother? You have a brother? Yeah, but he doesn't see us like that, so... Really? Why? To him, we're assets. Wow. Bro, that ain't manly at all. Oh. Wait, you're not the only one who's here? Nope, Class 1A just thought it would be cool to have a party at your place. Whose idea was it? Mina. Damn it, Mina! What? I mean, we there, we invite, we had a party at the other houses. I really don't see the bad part. They point, they point at the room that says, keep out. Oh, right, Izuku. I mean, it's just a sleepover. Plus, we wouldn't be that loud, would we? Mina, you would force us to open that door so we can die. I know you, woman. I would never do that. She smiles evilly. You're giving that evil smile. Yo, you stupid. Keep it down, or I am rubbing your fucking head off, you useless bitch. S sorry. Fucking hell, how much more loud and useless can you be? He slams the door. Fuck. Who was... That was our brother. Did he just... Yep. Bakugo, aren't you? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No way. Yeah, I ain't stepping in that. Sorry, but, uh, hey, <laughs> I like to, I want to live. If to have grandkids, thank you. <laughs> I'm horrified of him. Wait, Katsuki, the explosion king, is scared of someone? Okay, then, Mrs. Pretty Princess, you piss him off. Because I ain't last time I enraged him. Or said, make me? He broke my, both all my fingers and all my toes. No, thank you. I like to live. I, okay. Sarah, oh, just says, what if I talk to him? Well, that's not really, and that's what he just walked. Oh, come on. My mom always said, there's always kindness in people, but if you just know them. 
Apparently your mo apparently your your mother never met and my brother. And S10 just knocks on the door. Izuku opens it and expected his siblings, but he sees Zoro. I mean Zero. Hi. Who are you? My name is Zoro. Oh, and you are Izuku. Izuku Midoriya. Wow, that's a nice name, Izuku. Thanks, I guess. What did you want? Oh, I just wanted to see... I just wanted to know... I just wanted to hang out with you, you know? Are you on drugs? Nope. So, uh, what's your quirk? Ugh, I'm quirkless. Oh, that's cool. I wish I was quirkless. He's like a raise an eyebrow in curiosity now. Why would you want to be quirkless? Truth be told, being a quirkless person sounds a little bit more simple than being a quirk person, especially if you're becoming a hero. Do you not want to be a hero? Uh, no, it's not that. It's just that... I just think heroes are just greedy people. I'm forced to be a hero due to my, because, well, my family committed a crime and now I have to live with it. That's stupid. Yeah, I know, but I can't do anything about it. If I don't, I will be in life sentence in jail. So I'm stuck in a prison. Hmm. Um, and this one you just hear stomach growling. <laughs> Anyone got something to eat? There's a sam. There, I bought some hams for to make sandwiches. You can use that. Right. Everyone's jaw. Bakugo, meet Takugo, Tak, Oga, Ochako, and Izumi, All Might and Inko jaw just dropped. Like, like, huh? Oh, thanks, bro. No problem. Just don't eat it all. Okay, bro. And Izuka just closes the door. And everyone just looks at Adam. What? How did you do it? What do you mean? I just talked to him. He's actually pretty nice. Nice? You heard what he yelled at us. Yeah, but I think there's a reason why. Oh, I want to hear this. Why is he neglect? Why is he doing this? I read read him. When I was talking to him, I noticed his tone. He's not well evil. He just doesn't want to get attached to you guys. Why? I think he's worried of being attached to you, you guys, if you guys died, or if you got, I just got hurt, or if you guys, well, had something else, he would get emotional, and that means he would have, that means he will be weak in his eyes. To him, showing emotions is a weakness. So what you're saying is, he's acting like this so we don't get attached. Yep. Why? Could be anything. Could be to protect you guys from something. Could be from making sure you guys don't get along with him. It's obviously those two. So what I'm hearing is he acts like a douche to make sure we don't get attached to him and so we don't mourn for his death. Is that what I'm hearing right? Yeah. How are you so good at... How did you... It's a dead giveaway. I mean... In, I learned how to read people's body language at a young age. I had to read my brother's body language because he rarely showed his emotions. Oh. But the jerk thing, he's just being like that so you can hate him more. Sounds like he meant it. That's the thing about people hiding their emotions. They are good at acting. You know a lot, don't you? Manetta acts like a pervert all the time, but he really acts like that because, because he, people, he doesn't want to own anyone his secret. What, that he's gay or something? Mm, you just guessed it. Wait, you're gay? I thought it was a dead giveaway. I stopped acting. I mean, have you noticed? Just have you noticed I have been flirting with any women? Yeah, I noticed that. I, I thought you found a girlfriend that tolerated you. Very funny, Mina. I mean, very funny. 
No, it's because... Us, I'm dating Dinky. Wait, I thought... Dinky and Jiro... Oh, Jiro is lesbian and she's dating Momo. Oh. Well, I guess... Okay, that actually makes sense now I think about it. Hey, um, Zero, Zoro, I mean Zero, I mean Senzo, oh, whatever his name was. Zero? Ugh, I'm gonna have to look it up again. Yeah? Mind if you come over more often? I want to read more about it. Um, how about I don't push it? Besides, I am hungry. Like he said, there's some ham sandwiches. There's some ham in the fridge. Did you guys buy this brand? No, he did. He doesn't even allow us to buy anything. Hey, ow. We still want to buy him a new book, but he won't allow us. Uh, like I said, he's just making sure that he doesn't get attached to you. That's all. All? Oh, I think maybe whatever he's doing is extremely wrong. Maybe that's why. What could he be doing? Well... Judging by his scars, it looks like that he probably does some fighting. How skilled is he in combat? Very skilled. More skilled than All Might, in fact. Really? Is that true? Yep, he, they're telling the truth. I've seen Izuku fight. That is one person you do not want on your bad side. It's like fighting a street fighter. Here's the best way of saying it. It feels like you're fighting Akuma from Street Fighter. Well, if his eyes were red. Yes, I noticed that. Emerald green. But it looks like he covers a tattoo. He has a lot of tattoos and scars. He doesn't tell us where he got those. And the tattoos on his and the scars on his wounds are extremely fresh. Yeah. But we know he's, he's not going to tell us anything. You never know. You never know. Yeah, yeah, we never know. He might change, but I doubt it. Oh, you have little faith. I know. I gave up on faith of being his sister a long time ago. You should never give up on being your si on your siblings. It's like my mom always said, giving up hope is like giving up your virginity. It sucks. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? No, because... As number one, that means you have to make sure they're wearing a condom and you want to make sure that's their last, you know? Huh? Okie dokie? Your mom is wise. Yeah. But, well, that's about it. Maybe your mom can teach him some pointers. Nah, I think she'll probably just fright, I don't know, beat some sense into him. And that's when we get to Izuku. Mm. Yellow. Hey, uh, big guy. Sorry to say this, but this is going to be your last fight. Dare I even ask? Uh, well, it's mostly because uh, the cops are going to find out. So, the cops are finding out where we are. So, we don't, I don't want you to get arrested, bud. <sighs> Fine. When's the next match? Next month. Who am I fighting? Solomon Grundy. He, warning, he is undead. How the hell am I supposed to fight against an undead guy? I don't know. Find a way. You always do. Oh, it's not like you're fighting the boogeyman. Very funny. I know I am. Ugh. Just, where's the fight at? The one place no one would expect. And that is, it's Japan in the docks. The docks. Why the hell is it at the docks? Because that'd be the last place anyone would look.
like I said. And good luck, kid. This guy's undefeated. He has more kills than you. Figure that. Thanks for the warning. No problem. And make sure you don't die in this one, okay? <laughs> Can't promise that. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. Is that all? Yep. Good luck. that guy, huh? I guess anything's possible. Let's see how that big guy can do against me. He said he's undefeated, too. Which means I might actually get a fair... F I might actually get a good fight. Maybe. If I'm lucky. I gotta fight. And pretty much they now start off with Izuku. Izuku, after a month, finally recovered and he starts walking to the place. Oh uh, no! When our, our last fight? Izuku, my dog, I mean, the Bane of Champion final round against Solomon Grundy! <laughs> and he just starts walking up. And this is when Izuku has pretty much just sees him. And this guy is about tall. Is taller than Izuku. Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday. <laughs> Let's get this over with. We both have things to do. Oh. And this one, Izuku pretty much gets into a fighting stance. And pretty much, Izuku just starts pounding and pounding and pounding. the yeah, Grundy. Which he remembers, Grundy is a zombie, so he has to land critical hits on this guy. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste. And he's going to have to fight them all over again. He does not want that. Like, at all. All right. Let us see what we can do. After a couple of brutal rounds, when Izuku finally took Grundy out by ripping his head, head. Ah, incredible! The Bang of Japan has defeated the undefeated Solomon Grundy! Damn, I overused on the Venom. Someone help him to, re to the recovery guy. <sighs> well, it's a good thing you're retiring. It's a miracle you're even moving. I managed to re relocate your bones, but I wouldn't recommend in fighting for a long time. You're gonna have to wear a cast too. Ooh, both of your arms and both of your arms and arms are broken. Well, actually, both one arm, one of your arms and one of your legs are broken. So you're not going to be able to, to walk for a while, at least until they're not in a cast. Thanks for the warning. No problem. So good to see that you're finally retiring. You deserve it, big guy. Yeah. That was a hell of a fight, dude. Why are you really making me retired? D 
dude. You're 15. You deserve her to enjoy life. Enjoy... Boy, the things that you can enjoy while you can. Okay. He taps his foot. The real reason? That's actually is. I'm not joking for one... Let's see, Zuku. What happened to me being your money? I'm going down on the business. I am pretty much have a girl to raise. Okay. See you around overall. See ya. Besides the new guy, besides the new owner, is a dick. He would have tried to force you. Alright. Thanks for the warning. No problem. go. And this one is When Izuku finally get home, he pretty much walks in with a cast and a cast on his arm and his leg. Egg. Egg. And pretty much he just walks over. But this one is a family immediately around surrounds him. What happened? I suppose I can finally tell you. Tell us what? Why I'm a douche. Not even hesitating, the entire family surrounds the tape the surround how's the couch. <sighs> Damn. That guy was not easy to beat. Who? Sit down. Grab a squeaky toy so you can squeeze it. And I'll squeeze my head. tells him everything on how he pretty much met at overall how he pretty much been doing stuff for overall how he got the scars even explained the fights he got he even explained his third degree he even got a third or burn on on his left arm arm and that's why he's covered in tattoos he's got a scar on his neck from a villain known as cheetah uh, a scar on his left eye for, for fighting killer croc he got a broken arm and leg pretty much from um, Solomon Grundy. The bruises are also from Grundy, and also he lost more than one teeth. And he, re and he shows his teeth, he realized half of them are silver, or half of them are pretty much fakes. Pretty much either or fake, either silver teeth.
pretty much the look on their faces. Priceless. As Izuku just holding back his laughter because as he's just trying his best, but then he just bursts out into laughing. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Damn. Yeah, he got me good on the rib cage. Ah. That just put us. They're just speechless. Like, now they get why he has been a jerk. They can't even believe this. It's hard to believe, but after seeing the scars, they expected something less brutal. I mean, and him as to beat Solomon Grundy? He's just like, the fuck? So pretty much, he doesn't even know what, they don't even know what to say. They're like, I, 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 uh, you okay? No, we are not okay, son. So this was the reason why you were always a douche? Yeah. I thought it's because we probably neglected you or, no, not that. I just didn't want you. I just didn't want to get attached. You guys to get attached to me. Hey. And this was the reason. Yeah. Because I knew. Who let you guys go react to this? That's half the reason why I neglected you all, or tried to force you. But you're stubborn. That's half the reason. So, does that mean you're not going to be a jerk to us? Don't push it. It worth a shot. Well, worth a shot? It was worth a shot, I'll give you credit. Did, 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 did you just compliment me? I must be going insane. Izuku complimented me. Don't push it. Not pushing. I'm not even gonna force. I am going to treasure that compliment. Arrow is just a compliment. Yeah! From you, Izuku. From you. Ooh. What's next? You gonna try to hug me? I know better. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh, nope, 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 no, I know better. I really know better than to pull that stuff. Believe me, I like to live, thank you. Oh, well, at least you're not stupid. Well, yeah, like I said, I want to live. I don't want to die. But like I said, it is worth it to know that you cared about us. I am regretting my compliment. Too late. I, I'm, I'm treasuring it. I'm holding it. It's mine. And, you know, it's just a compliment. And though, you be surprised how long we wanted you to say that, son. Really? That long? You all act like it's the first time I ever hat gave you a compliment. It is! Really? It is? Yes, it is! You know how long we've been dying, begging the gods? That you would give us a compliment? Ugh, is that all? Oh, yes, that is all. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to make something to eat. Oh, no, 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 you don't. You are sitting, and we are going to make it. <sighs> fine. No, fine. No, we are not taking no for it. Wait, what? Fine. Did you just say fine on us making you a sandwich? Yes. I'm no longer a street fighter, so there's no point. I mean, if I just for if I just said no period and stubbornly walked, you guys would have stopped me, correct? Wow, you 
do know us pretty well. I don't know you, it's just a hunch. Well, you guessed right. And I'm get glad that you guessed right, but I am happier to know that you have stopped fighting. Anything else? Um, no, that's it. So, you're not going to say you're grounded or something? As much as I want to? Ooh, let me guess. You're going to port this to Nezu to make my life even more hell. Uh, no. I don't really see why. You guys are fucking... Wait, what? We're not going to report you. Okay? Why? What do you mean, why? Why are you not reporting me? Because we're not going to, and plus, that's a good reason why you were a dick, and why you're an ass. We thought it's because you probably had a job, like a boyfriend or something, and you didn't want us to get... And we thought something a little bit more depressing, but not this. I guess that does make sense. Anything else? So, what now? Well... You're gonna ask me to join you away, aren't you? Please? I mean, with your fighting skills, it will make us feel a lot better that knowing that our daughters are safe. Hey! We can defend ourselves! You two rely on your quirks too much. Dylan, I mean, Izuku, snap. Besides, Izuku is literally... Bull. He's literally stronger than you guys. Huh. I guess when it does make sense. Well, at least we know why. Hey, here's your ham sandwich. I'm surprised you even know how to make it. You'd be surprised how long, how many times we watched you make the same thing. Wait, does that mean you'll finally eat my cooking? No. Really? We do use the ham sandwiches. Well, today you're gonna. Well, 
Oh, you're gonna try something new. I hope you're okay with chicken pot pie. I... Wait, have you even had chicken pot pie? No. So, let me get this straight. You've been eating ham sandwiches ever since you were five? Yep. How the fuck do you stay so buff? Training. A lot of training. Who trained you? Like, seriously. I mean, seriously. So, you ate? <sighs> Sarah will be there. Well? <sighs> I do respect him. Fine, I'll join. Thank you. I doubt it. All right, let's. So how long, how long will it take for you to, you know? It'll be a while. <laughs> well, you're not getting up. Let's do this. If that's everything. I should probably get going. Huh. All right. So is someone going to help me? So how would you... This is just a lot to take in. Knowing that our brother... This is just a lot to take in. It really isn't. What do you mean it's really... Izuku, you are covered in so many scars that it's a mir I'm surprised you're alive. So Zero what? Zero was right. Zero? Who? Zero, the guy who has the duct tape arms? Oh. Yeah, he was right. Wait, you heard that conversation? Yeah, I did. It. 
You're not mad. No. Though I am disappointed it took you this long guy for you guys this long to find out. Wait a minute, how long have you been fighting? Since I was five. I thought it was because Katsuki was bullying you. No. Yeah. To think I was gonna confront him for that. Now I know not. Though, did you have to break his thumbs and his toe? His, uh, you're really gonna ask me that? Well, you can't do anything. I can choke you. I can put my cane up your ass. You wouldn't do that to your sister, right? You really want to bet that? Uh, fair point. Good. That's everything. Yep. <sighs> All right. Anyway, this is when Izuku just gets up. Ow! Oh no, you don't. Sit back down and finish your sandwich. All right. So I'll tell Nezu that. You agree? I can't move until next month. Oh, these wounds are serious. Well, start laying down. I can't. Why? He looks, he points at the cast. Oh, right. I'm fine like this. Okay. Well, good night, everybody. Good night. And pretty much a, couple, a month has passed and Izuku can finally walk. <sighs> so, Izuku. What? Any other secrets you're hiding from us? Yep. Really? Some you don't need to know. Okay, here's a question. Are you still a virgin? Oh, Choco! Why? I got a... Nope. What? Nope. I'm not a virgin. Who took your virginity? A couple of hookers. They better be... Hey, when I not think they were. <laughs> they were given... Hey. You can't be picky who you sleep with. But they're mostly male, so... My son slept with people. Wow. Just, just wow. Well, he was a street fighter, and think about it. Quarkless people weren't really gonna bump a bump a bump. Bump him. Let's see. All right, I guess that does make sense. Anyway. All right. Is that all, or are you going to criticize me more? Nope, that's all. But it better... Better been someone we know. Yeah. Sinzo. He's my fuckboy. What? Yeah. Wait. Sinzo knew? Yeah. Sinro root. Sinzo knew. I think I'm saying his name right. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. This one here. Wait. You mean Zero Hanta? Yeah. Zero Rohanta. He's my fuckboy. And that's when we... When Zero walks in. Hey, guys. Uh, where's uh, Izuku? I wanted to... Talk... To... Him. <laughs> <laughs> you know! Yeah. 
Yeah? I thought it was an obvious hint. I technically already did tell you. Yeah! But why didn't you tell us he's been doing it since he was five? Wait, he's been doing it since he was five? Way to go. Oh, he didn't know that. That. Sanyo? Sano? How come you didn't tell us? Well, I didn't know he was doing it since he was five until now. Oh, don't you whistle. So. No. What, are you gonna give me a blowjob? Well, I was until I found out how this. Okay, how long have you two been doing it? What do you mean? The sex. How long have you two been having sex? Since we were ten. Consider it a tribute. I owed him. He saved me from a crucial and yet saddened fate. Yeah, I owe him. Uh, I can't be mad. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. You're mad, aren't you? I'm furious. I am furious, but I am trying my best to handle this up because Izuku lost his virginity to a friend. Who I thought is straight. Nope, gay. 100% gay. Yeah, but Izuku? I mean, I thought it would be probably Dinky or Manana. Not a grumpy, big, angry hippo. And that's when Izuku just throws a plate on her head. Ow! Oh, I may be. He wounded doesn't mean I can't throw shit, you stupid banana head. Actually, I'm gonna let that one. Actually, I'm actually gonna let you call me that. Because I deserve that. What gave that away? Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Just don't throw shit at me again. It hurts. Oh, don't be a baby. I kicked you in the ball. I kicked you in the face more than enough of times. It shouldn't hurt. Really? Really? Alright, what now? Well, I would ask if you want to do it, but you're wounded. <laughs> well, you could do it doggy style in the middle of the hall, in the middle of the room, but what? Absolutely not. No dog, no cowboy on the couch. You two did it before. Just go to your rooms. The rooms are not soundproof, and this room is echoey. So, I do not see the downside. Your leg? I could just give him a blowjob. No! Okay, okay, I'll wait next month. Though it's gonna be hard. hard. Why, you addicted to it or something? It's pretty big. It's kinda hard not to be addicted to it. How big is his dick? Oh, not that big, like... Longer than a pencil? Longer than a pencil? A f non sharpened pencil without the tip? Yep. Or, the best way of saying it, long as a candy cane? Hey, one of those really big candy canes? Or, there's a more, that more lustful term. Big as a family, almost as big as a family sized chip bag, just half the size. <laughs> ah. Oh. Wow. Um, uh. You're packing. Hey. Hey. That's what happens when you have a lot of drugs in hand since you Excuse me, drugs? Yeah, drugs. What drugs? Shit. Oh, nothing too big, just steroids. Why do I got a feeling you're lying? Izuku, do they even know about... That? You mean what overall's been giving me? Nope. And I'm gonna keep it that way until I... Until they're a little bit calmer. Izuku? 
what? We're not gonna be calm. We just found out... I just found out my son is a... Suicidal maniac. Ouch. Well, it's true, my son. In fact, I am deeply surprised that you ain't dead. Yeah, dead is a one way of saying it. Huh. So, pardon me if I'm a little bit it enraged is the best way of saying it. Don't worry. I understand your anger. But being angry at me is not going to help things. Sin, Joe, what is he talking about? What drug is he talking about? I can't tell you. Not until he feels comfortable with it. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to blur it out. Are you two dating? We've been dating ever since we were ten. I literally bought him. Wait, you're a slave? What? No! No, 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 no! I literally live with you guys in the shadows. What? Why do you think I asked you two to put the bet Ed near my... Why do you think I asked for only a window? Oh. So you've been sneaking in? Yeah. He, made, he always makes food for me, so... Yeah, that's why... Why didn't you tell us? Oh, sure. Tell your friends that you're betting their brother who is very rude to them. Like, you're gonna believe that. I... Uh, okay, touche. I, that would be hard to, to accept. It's... At back then, but now... Look, you don't have to hide. You can... If they are okay with. Hey, if you can bed my son, you're happy to stay here. We're okay with it. Oh, cool, because I have nowhere else to go, and I don't think Dylan was going to take no for an answer. Nope, I would not, because I would forcefully tell them to say yes. How? Mom, you forget to put up your diary. I know all your secrets. Get it! Okay, name one. Hug, puppy, whoppy, e, gee! What is he talking about? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Izuku, I am begging you, do not tell him yet. That's his birthday present. What is she talking about, son? I won't tell him if we agree to the deal. Fine. Even though we were going to allow it. Izuku smiles evilly. Okay, what do you know about us? Us, Izuku? Izumi the sneak? She blushes like hell. Ooh, the sneak? Okay, hit me. What do you know about me? He... He, he tells Toby to get closer and just whispers something to his ear, to her ear. And she's now a blood crushing red. Yep. Okay, what about me? E. E. The kitty, the pussy kitty. She also blushes. Uh, why do you gotta be so evil? Okay, what do you know about me? E. All my the unbreakable. Da! Ugh. I can't believe it. How did you find out about that? Simple. The guy you... The bar told me. Wait, you drink? And smoke. Well, not anymore you don't. What? You are forbidden to drink and smoke. You didn't even let me finish. I used to, but I quit it. Oh, why? Because Sin... Because Sinno asked me to. He's right, I did. How did you even make... So, how would you two meet? I met when we, when I uh, killed his mother and father in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They were champions, known as the twin ends of, known as the Trent, the twins of London. They weren't expecting to fight 
I had to champ the bane of Japan. And ow! Whoops. <laughs> what? You heard me. So, let me get this straight. Not only was my son a street fighter, ever since he was five, but you're the bane of Japan. Got Japan's number one street fighter? Her? Yep. <laughs> uh, that explains why you pack a punch. Yep. So, what's gonna happen to me now? Well, you can't really do anything because number one, on you will definitely gonna have to go to UA after this. So I'm forced. No, but they're gonna ask me, and they're probably gonna bring Shinzo on why you wanna join. Don't worry, I'm immune to mind control. How? Think about it. Jackass kid wants to join UA because I'll, I'll just say my boyfriend asked me. And I'm gonna tell them the truth. Oh, well, that didn't even work. Your teacher's, your principal is stupid. Of course it will work. You really think low of our studio. Um, I wonder what gave that away. Everything gave that away. He's gonna go. Like, a lot. Not. Anything else? Izuku, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to be more open with us, right? Meaning no more secrets. Can't promising, can't promise a no secret thing. Why? Because even so, there are some things I don't want to tell you. What? You have a son or something? <whistles> what? <laughs> you're joking, right? Sweet potato sauce, you're not joking. Okay. Nope, I am not. Where is he? Um, I'm holding him. How long have you been holding that baby? In fact, how old is that kid? I'm... Five? Five. How old are you? Ten. I was already pregnant when Izuku found me. How long did you get pregnant? It's like the Omega thing. You know, those uh, weird things where Omegas get pregnant, male Omegas get pregnant easily to... Oh, yeah. Oh. It was a father. Well, it was my ex-mate, but Izuku killed him. Who was your ex-mate? He starts crying. Uh, hey, 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 you don't, you don't have to... Who? It was his father. Oh my god, I am so sorry for bringing up such memories. I deeply apologize. I am so, 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 so sorry. Please... Please don't hate me. It, it's fine, Toka. It matters that he's dead and I don't have to worry about him anymore. Damn right. Anyway, a month has passed again, I think. Or was it already a month? Let's say it was a month. And he's even standing up. Ugh. All right. When is UA starting? Actually, they you were recommended by a lot of people. What happened? What did all my blur something out or something no but you were just recommended like a lot of people recommended you oh. Shinzo I mean Shinzo was one of them Zero right? yes Zero give me a minute Zero Hunt 
Zero. Why do I keep saying not opposite? Zero. Sheesh. Zero, zero, zero. I need to get that in my head. Zero. Sheesh. So zero is happy. Shit. So, haunt. Anyway, Hanta. Yeah? Come here. So, have you thought? So, how are you doing, kid? I'm fine, Dad. That's good to hear. These are your aunts. Why is the green haired one scary? <laughs> and why does the other one look like you in the morning? Hey! <laughs> What does, does the other green woman look like? I don't want to be the gin, I don't want to be the creep be with the scary real old lady. <laughs> scary old lady? How am I scary? Uh, creepy lady. <laughs> what about that one? She he points at Toga. Kitty. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is she a witcher? Hey? Witcher? No. <laughs> she's not a witcher. Or she just has cat eyes. What is it? And that's when the little boy just starts petting. Cute. Ow. He's okay. Ow. What? I... Why is your son half your personality? Oh, don't be so kitten about it. <laughs> Puns. Oh, don't be so furred up about it. Oh my god, why? I hate puns. Too late now, you clickened all the way here. Ah! Bah! Alright, what about him? He points at all my. Arrow. Who's that ugly motherfucker? Die! I, ah! Arrow. Ugly! <laughs> oh, I can't breathe! Are you okay? Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> my own family, my own family got roasted by my own son. <laughs> I feel violated. You weren't even raped. Still, my emotions hurt. You have emotions? Oh, don't you dare say that! I know you, Izuku. You were crueler than us. You were worse than us. And so don't you dare pull that stunt with me. Okay, okay. Jeez, take a chill pill, lady. Now check a check drop when I show that chill pill up for us. We get it, we get it, okay? Just feel the breeze, man. Are you high or are you drunk? Neither. I'm just being an asshole. I would flip you off if the girl, if he didn't know. Oh, he already knows his cuss words and his middle fingers. Why? anything's possible. Anyway. Anything else? That's about it.
So, when do we start UA? Soon. Um, UA is letting you in right now. Alright. Um, who's gonna watch our son while we're gone? This one ain't go, this says. I'll do it. Ah, don't leave him a scary lady! He's not scary, and she doesn't bite. How do you know? She may have rabies. Ow. Am I really that up? Am I really that scary looking? Ain't go, you have your hair down, and she can't see your eyes. You look like the ring. <sighs> oh. This is better. <sighs> Ow. Never mind. Put your hair back down. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Your son is the king of cruelty. I'm pretty. <laughs> Ow. Prettier than a horse's ass. <gasps> what did I say? No making fun of people. Oh, and he's Uko. Yes, sir. I mean, yes. Yes. Stop laughing at your mother. Kind of hard not to. Ooh, Sinzo. Many in it. Oh, my bad, I meant to say Zero. Zero. You know what? I'm just going to say Haunta. Yes, Haunta. Oh. No making fun of people. Okay? Alright, ha Zero Haunta. And it's when he just kisses him. Aww, so romantic it. Hey. Sorry, love. Sometimes he overdoes it, and we always end up having sex and X. Does the kid know? Already knows his birds and bees. How? Um. Zero knows a lot more than you think. I mean, our son knows a lot. Yeah, speaking of that, what is the kiddo's name? Really? You didn't even ask that? Well, we weren't expecting you to have kids, so that makes sense. Um, the kiddo's name is actually named Fenrir. Why? He has a wolf quirk that allows him to transform into a wolf, and he can grow in any size that he wants. Oh, that's cool. You know, you're the first one to say that. Most people think it's villainous. Well, they're idiots. It's not the villain that... It's not the quirk that makes the villain. It's the villain that makes the quirk villainous. I mean, Toga has a blood quirk. There's also the Valve King. Who? I forgot. You don't really do that much heroism. But what I mean is... Is well, I get it. Anyway, is that all? Yeah, that's all. All right. Well, let's get to UA before before Zero starts to have a nasty, nasty, you know. Yep. And that's when Izuku starts walking down. Izuku starts walking toward, or it's the, pretty much he starts sitting down. This is when Izuku pretty much starts walking, and actually they get the UA, and they just welcome you, Izuku, with open arms. 
Wow, when you say you're allowed cloakless, I thought it was just some sick ass joke. Okay, pro on a prank. Um, no, it was not a prank. Thank you. Huh. All right, let's do this. Still surprising that you allow such things. I know. pretty much it but anyway this one when they get the ua and like i said they just welcome them because they were expecting something different of izuku now no one knows about izuku being the bane of japan yet so yeah So oh, this is when Izuku starts running up. This is when Izuku starts exploring. But he gets lost easily. Uh, you know, they didn't give you where the class 1A was it? Oh. oh. Zenho. Yeah, they didn't. Zero. Yeah. They uh, didn't give me any advice on where the class is. So can you help me, babe? Sure. Here it is. It's right next to you. Oh. <laughs> Come on, babe, let's go. Huh. And that's when Izuku walks in along with Zer- Hero. It's time to get the name better. Alright. Is that all? Yep, that's all. Oh, so... By the way, sweetie. Yeah? You didn't really tell me, uh... Hey, who are you? So... Do they know? Your class? Oh, they know I have a boyfriend? They just don't, didn't know it was gonna be you. So, let's go, babe. Alright. And that's when they walk in. Hello. Oh. Alright. Alright, so now we got a Zero and he's good walking in and everyone just sees this big guy. Oh, who's the new guy? This is when he's Bakugo shit says shit. H hey, Detu. Who? What did I say about calling me that, Katsuki? S sorry. Wait, Katsuki stuttering? <laughs> oh, hey, Zero. Hey. Um, why doesn't he not like being called Deku? Oh, trust me. If you want to get on his bad side, you call him that. But if you want to stay alive and see your grandkids, uh, don't call him that. Trust me, guys. He's scary. You should listen. If the big bad man is scared of a man like me, that's something to be concerned about. But really? Think. Why would he be scared of a little boy like me? Isn't that right? He's, isn't that right? Mommy, I've been a good boy. Yes, I know you have. Is that all? Yes, sir, 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 sir. He's horrified of this guy. Why is he horrified of him? Must be pretty powerful or something. So, uh, what's your quirk? I'm quirkless. I'm just good at fighting. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I get guess that makes sense. Just... Anyway, today we're gonna do we're gonna go to the USJ. Think he said something stupid. 
No, not that. Senjo. I mean, Senro. I mean, Senro? <sighs> Give me a minute. Zero. It's just like zero to say Zero. Sheesh. I'm not used to saying the S. Okay, Zero. Bro, um, why are you so close to him? Oh, he's my boyfriend. Narnia? Yep, this big ball of thing is mine, so I'm not sharing. The girls are thinking, lucky son of a bitch, he looks hot. The boys are just thinking, wait, he's gay? Is there a problem among the boys? If it is, then come at me and we can sell this face to face. Got it? Get... No, we, we don't have any problems with that. You okay with that, Zero Seno Hanta? We're fine with that. That's everything. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for selecting these. No problem, Zero. No. Anywho, let's just go to this USJ thing. Alright. This one they go to the USJ. And pretty much this one Izuku starts walking towards them. I mean, starts walking, and he's just thinking, huh. now now we just sit and relax because where are we going oh now oh uh, never mind wait aren't you gonna need your well out school uniform izuku was recommended not to wear it due to him accident might accidentally rip in his shirt yep oh. and zero zero is just thinking and plus i do not want to I do not want those covered in, in white. Black looks better in him anyway. Very well. Zero? Oh, what's with that look? Like what you're looking? I like it for real. <laughs> we'll do that when we get home, okay? Okay. Ow! Well, aren't we a balls? <laughs> and ow. Perverts, apparently? No, he just gets that mood. Oof. I mean, we can't blame him. You're good looking. Like he said, I'm taken. Damn. Oh. Wait a minute. I know you. You're that dick. You're those guys who who pretty much threatened to prick off me Izumi's head. Why are you in 1A? Because I can be. Because you can't. Ugh! The fucker's her problem. She doesn't like you because you threatened to destroy our head. So, not my problem. Oh. Wait, did I say Toga's dating Ochako? God, I hope I didn't. If I did, I think I meant to say Mina. Yeah, Mina! Toga Mina. Sheesh. And if I remember correctly, um, uh, Izumi is a Bakugo. Wow. Uh, Ochako. No, wait, it's no. Yeah, Kats. Yeah, Izumi is dating Katsuki. Ochako dating Froppy, and Toka dating Mina. There we go. 
Alright, now I remember ships. Alright, Zero. You're sitting with me. Oh, there's no way I can't. And pretty much this is when everyone is just shocked to see that Zero is that. But Izuku already came up with his uh, costume. By the way, babe. Yeah, Zero. Yes, I know. Do they know about you being... Nope. Uh, I got a feeling I gotta find out. At the USJ. Something feels wrong. I guess it's a father instincts. You know? Yeah, I sense that too. And a portal opens up. And we are right. I hate it when we are right. Ah, hero. What's the bane of Japan doing here? Ow. God fucking damn it. Wait, what? Oh boy. What's the bane of Japan doing helping with the heroes? I thought you were a street fighter. Ow. Um, hired? Nomu, immediately! Get the Momu out and immediately attack the Bane of Japan! Ugh. And this one, the Nomu pops up. Ow. Really? If I can defeat Solomon Grundy, I can easily take out this stupid thing. Good luck, he was made to kill All Might. Um, that's because All Might is not good at fighting. I am. <sighs> oh, shit. Katagiri, open a portal. But we still have... The Nomu is lost. They have the... The, the heroes have the upper hand when the Bane popped up. We don't stand a chance. Alright. That's all, I'm gonna get going. Okay. I guess that's everything. Do you have any other? Do you have any others? Nope. That's about it. But thank you. No problem, I guess. It's not like I got anything better to do. Unless you have a job. Unless, well. Let's just take care of this Nomu, actually, so we can have a little fun times, you know? Alright. I'm fine with that. And pretty much this one, Izuku, pretty much starts fighting this Nomu. The Nomu puts up some punches, but Izuku just stands there. Mostly because it doesn't even hurt him. It's just punching him. So just a disappointment sigh comes from Izuku, and he just uppercut. That's it, and it's dead. And literally, the head explodes. Ugh, that was a disappointment. And it's when he sees that the villains have already left without them. The fuck? What about us? So, are you guys gonna do the smart thing and surrender? Or, we surrender! Huh, smart. And that's when they hear, I am not surprised I'm late. Hello, all my... Oh, hey, Zuko. Oh. Wait, you know, what's with one eye in that look? They found out I'm the bane of Japan. Oh, shit. I told you not to wear the luchador mask. But it's comfier than that stupid ass. 
ass mask you gave me. Come on, it can't be that bad. I could barely breathe in it all might. Okay, okay. Hey, I get it. Do you? Because apparently you don't. I do, but it's just that, well, you weren't expecting it to pretty much do that, did you? Well, I definitely wasn't expecting it to help not help you breathe. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Good. Because I got uh, things to do. But not as much as I used to, anyway. Alright. <sighs> you going somewhere? Here? Yeah. Me and Zeno are going to catch up on a little bit of entertainment you could say okay and pretty much they start walking they walk to the boat we should probably go why let's just say when Zeno makes that face we go besides they'll be back at my house wait the bane of and that's when they start hearing moaning can you finish that sentence once we leave because I don't feel like hearing that got it got it got it and that's when they start going Thank you. Let's go. And they just get it hit with more and more and more after a couple of things. They are finally done. <sighs> well, that felt great. <sighs> I better take you back home. That is when they get home. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. I mean, hey, son, how are you doing? I'm doing good. With Inga, who was tortured. <laughs> what the heck happened to you? I've been forcing her to listen to my puns 24-7. <laughs> oh, God. She gives a sad look like, help me. Oh, I would love to help you, but Zeno is tired and I gotta put him to bed. You fucked him again, didn't you? Yep. Let me guess, six times? Nope, eight. His stamina is getting worse. Aaron, sometimes I wish Zeno didn't tell you how babies were made. Hey, look on the bright side. I'm an alpha. Huh? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, good point. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't really be mad at that. All right, if that's all. Well, yeah. So, where are you going to go? So, what now? That's about it. But right now, I'm just going to just mind my own business for a while. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, this is when they pretty much just had their time. And pretty much after that incident, it, the rumors of All Might being the father of the Bane of Japan spread like fucking wildfire. And All Might didn't even have to say anything because he knew that was going to happen. So he admitted it all. And luckily, no one started disrespecting Izuku again. And they even found out who he's dating. Zeno Honta. Zero, Zero Honta. Yeah, Zero Honta. 
After that little stunt, pretty much no one disrespected any of them ever again. And he simply doesn't even hide anything. He just doesn't even hide the tattoos, in fact. And pretty much, this is when we get to Izuku. Ooh, who is being attacked by the League of Villains. And overall, I mean, all for one. Die, you fucker! Uh, and it's when he's just dodging the attacks, uppercutting, punching, kicking, and all that. You really think that a quirkless man is can defeat me? He, well, yeah. I dare you to say that to my face. Come closer, then. Closer. Perfect. And he just does a Johnny Cage punch, nut punch. Gah! And pretty much punches him in the face hard enough. Of kicks him and pretty much just does a Jackie Briggs X-ray from like Mortal Kombat XL on him. And now it is KO. All for one was pretty much put in jail. Well, that was easy. Now, what was I doing? Oh, right. I gave my husband something to drink. And pretty much he went to get some Starbucks and brought some um, coffee. Hey, Zenzo, I got you some coffee you needed. Thank you. How's he? So, how's our little, little Fenrir? Huh? Oh, he's back. Oh, he's fully controlling his quirk now. Now, get away! My hair is not a chew toy! He will not stop ch chasing Izumi and Inkles go because they think in his, he thinks his, their hair is chew toys. <laughs> zero. I mean, Z, Z, S, Zero, please tell him. Ow, ow, that's my hair. Fenrir down. Oh, they're not chew toys. They're pot. They're used to the bathrooms. They are not bathrooms. And yeah, Izuku's life went pretty well. In fact, he's been less stressed and more we're focusing on his family. He graduated pretty early after being all for one. Overall, decided to take care of them and actually started catching up with Izuku with his daughter, Eri. So pretty much good times. And pretty much they live happily ever after. The fucking end. Ugh, man, am I tired. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. No, this has been Uncle Dylan here, and I hope you all enjoyed What If Deku Was Bane, Street Fighter AU, Good fucking bye.